All right, it's Dixon. And it's Viv, and we're here with ID and Lamar. Yes, yes, so, yes. So, welcome, Strong guys. Nails, nails. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Z, welcome. Well, so, uh, we're excited to have you guys. We're doing a, a Truminati takeover. Mm. So, you guys are all on Truminati. Yes. Uh, next couple guests, they're on Truminati as well. So, when did you guys join the uh, game? I joined the <laughs> gang at, like, the summer of 2015. Okay. That was, like, the first tour Larry put me on. You know? Oh, dope. Okay. Yeah, he, um... Sonny Jane, well he goes by Legendary now, but uh, I used to do music with Sonny Jane and Larry heard me and all crazy. was just like, I need you to come on tour with us. And oh, the tour, wow. and on, once he flew me out for the tour, I like vibe with everybody, everybody vibe with me and it was just a ride. He kind of knew that you guys were all going to get along. Yeah, you know, especially in a van for that many hours. It's yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really how you borrow with folks. Like, yeah. I, was just talking, I was just talking to, uh, we were at this event last night. And uh, at Third Space, you know what I mean, which is a cool little popping little area. We I've we try to that go to that. Yeah. It was cracking. It was fun. Definitely. Yeah. Um. And uh, some of the dudes from Avenues of the Arts were asking me. It was like, man, so Chuminati so tight. And, like you guys, you guys mesh real well. How you? How does that happen? And I was telling them, like, man, I've gone on two tours with these cats. You feel me? So it's like, when you in a city that's not your city, you feel me? And you out there, it's like, well. What we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause we don't know nobody for the we outside. When you yeah. exact, when you the outsiders in all these cities, like everywhere we went, especially cause we just we rappers, man. So it's like when people see us, they're like, y'all not normal motherfuckers. You know, I, I mean, normal people. Damn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it does, it does make you tight. Like, definitely. You know. And then walking on like college campuses, like we was on Boise State campus. Walking around, beating on our chests, just rapping. And people, <laughs> people were actually like stopping and looking at us, listening to us, recording us, and stuff like uh, that. And, yeah. like, that was like a good bonding experience for us because it was like it was so fun. Definitely so. Fun. That's what um, like when I go and see you guys perform. Like even if it's like um, other people in your in your crews perform, you guys are always out there like yeah. showing love yeah, and course. and it's not competition. It's all. Like Definitely. it's a team. You guys all want to win. You guys are on the same team, and yeah. that's the vibe I got from Lamar. Like I was like. Hey, you know, because he hit me up. He's like, I want to bring some people on. I was like, let's have them all on. You know, like let's mm -hmm. let's bring everybody on. He was like, cool. You know, let's do it. Takeover. Yeah. <laughs> so um, a couple of things we want to ask is, how did you get your name? ID. Yeah. <laughs> man, that's a, that's 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 a very interesting. Uh, and it's not even like just ID is ID. Like, yeah. Well, well, uh, I used to go like I was doing like open mic poetry and stuff like that, and I went by depth. You know what I mean? But like depth wasn't something that was cool over headlines. Like, <laughs> like, like I keep getting checks for depth like I was G depth from like make this money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all that, you know what I mean? So I try to go to like in depth, you know what I mean, just to kinda spell it out like Yeah. But then after a while I just made a bunch of uh acronyms for it and stuff like that, you know. Ignited dynamite, immediate detonation, a deviant demonstration of MC and that is greatness. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> Chop it up in a lot of different things, so you know. I thought it stood out that way too, the way I spelled it and shit. Yeah, so, I mean, definitely. it's stuff, man. I'm gonna be working. I'm working on that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it now. I'm on it. My bad. But that's the last um, one. Do you make? Who makes those hats for you? Do you make those hats? Oh no, actually, uh, it's a. You know, we were just talking about like cross promo and things like that. Yeah. So I do cross promotion with like uh, local artists on the scene. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so this dope. is actually one of the vets on the hip hop scene. His name is Dumper Food. And he's a uh, and he's a, a a local artist. He he was really uh, he was really involved in the Blunt Club, you know, oh, which, okay, which yeah, went on for like yeah. ten years, mm -hmm. which is like the longest running hip hop function in Phoenix. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So Dump is like a big guy. He did like a, a more plain one for me because Dump usually uses a lot of real like loud, I saw wild them, colors. and that's why I was like, I want to bring that up. Yeah, but those hats are but dope. I think he stenciled this one out, and I actually it became my favorite after a while too. I was like, well, it's raw, but it's. I kind of like it, you know what I'm saying? So I cross promote with different artists all the time. Um, any local artists, I try to seek them out, get a brim done. You know, that way I can promote them. Yeah. When they see my pictures, they'll promote me. I can be like, hey, look at this art. They can be like, hey, look at this rapper. So yeah. we all just get our love. And I always try to seek out, like, um, active artists. So it's not like somebody who's just, like, who's a dope art, who's a dope artist who just works at the so house. I want to be who's in, out you know, here yeah. so, we can, so it's a good cross, you feel me? So I got a bunch of ass. I got, like, 20 I seen him hats. in that cipher that y'all yeah. did, the, the, the <laughs> Under Society cipher. That, that was tight. Yeah, right on, right on, right on. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, what was your last project? Because we were looking up your music, and Entourage 
that was the last song you released probably like four months ago Entourage part two part yeah two, part yeah. two and then before that I found a project from like 2015 which was dope he uh, was like telling never me never gets old oh never no never gets old that's what? on 92 that's on a recent project I just oh, okay yeah. okay yeah. well I, I looked I up the on one from I looked up the point of no return yeah that was 2015 mm -hmm. that was the uh that was the mixtape when Larry was like Larry actually like really helped me put like a lot of stuff into that like I, I even had like got beats from the uh, the other CEO of Tuminati, Spencer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he doesn't no. he doesn't really like to make beats, but he was like, hey, I really like you as an artist, so I'm gonna just do this one time, mm -hmm. and I need you to spit on it. And that's when all I ever wanted came out. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? And after then, it's just been after putting no a return. It was '92. And what are you working on now? Oh, I'm working. <laughs> I'm working on a lot of stuff. Like I got a I got a joint project I'm about to drop with Eddie Wells. Okay. You know, I'm still working on the project that I wanted to do with uh with Prem. Like we never finished that, so I'm still trying to work on that. I got two solo pro two solo mixtapes that I'm doing right now. Got like six, oh, wow. six singles that I'm about to drop. I'm just waiting on Larry to tell me when. Yeah. That's something we notice a lot with uh, local artists that are like heavy, because you guys are performing all the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, where's all this content? Like you guys are performing, you know, what songs are you performing? Because yeah. you haven't dropped anything <laughs> in uh, like how many months? But like, I get it, you know, you guys are busy working and then, yeah. um, you know, your projects, when do those come out? Uh, I'm trying to, I'm not really focused on the projects. I'm just trying to drop like singles. Maybe like, okay. I'm probably gonna drop four or five singles before the end of the year. Okay. You know, but definitely I'm dropping at least two or three before the hip hop festival. So okay, see, uh, so that's can a, like that, with you know? visuals and everything. Mm -hmm. What what makes you what do, what makes you decide that like oh, okay this is the one I want to make a, a, a video to? Larry has a big part in that too. <laughs> like you know I I like I like rely on Larry for like a lot of like a lot of things when it comes to the music, you know what I'm saying? Because he has the mind, he has the... Yeah, he has the vision, he knows what, what that song can do. I really wasn't doing, I really wasn't in the right place before Larry came and got me like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> anything that comes to the music, I always want to do Larry first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the videos that I've seen that you that are on YouTube, they all they all slap. He's like the biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> I didn't realize yeah, they Larry, all Larry like, oh. will hear a song. He will hear a song. If he likes it, he'll play it like over and over and over again. And as he's playing it over and over again, he'll call me like, "Hey, we need to do a video for this." You know yeah. what I'm saying? As soon as we moved into the True Game crib, he was like. You're doing a video for Never Gets Old. I'm about to call Cody. He's coming over here. We weren't even in the house for like a month before we did the video. See, yeah, and I've noticed that and all the videos are tight. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Not even just the song, like the visual itself is dope. I like, appreciate it. All of y'all, everybody in Trimmer like. Yeah, we got, we, got, we, got, we got good people surrounded by us, you know, videographers, photographers. Yeah, and it's like such a, uh, like a good crew mm -hmm. that you guys have, and it's like all in-house. You got, you know, Mumbles making your beats, yes, and then that, you got <laughs> the video guy that's like, you know, also the homie, mm -hmm. and like everyone's just really cool with each other. It's all love without us. All that's what I was gonna ask you. Does Mumbles make all the beats that you rap on? He don't know. He don't make all the beats, you know, okay. but man, you'd be lucky to get them on those. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he don't make all the beats, but the, the ones you're not he the do first make, person to say that. Yeah, the ones he do make, we gotta make sure we like push those songs definitely. Like okay. he uh, think first. You ever if you seen that video, uh -huh. Charlie made that beat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we try to push that video real hard. Okay. Um, okay. you've both done ciphers before. Is that something you like or wanna do again? Like those video ciphers? Oh yeah, uh, I mean yeah, those are fun. Yeah, I, I always, yeah. I always love. I come from that. I come from the freestyling and like battle rapping, battle rapping, okay, things like that. So I feel like that's like it's a, it's in my nature. I love doing it. So that uh, so, AZ yeah. Underdog one you did back in like 2015. There yeah, was like a few people on there. Yeah, that verse was dope. Yeah, I, about Isaiah yeah. Thomas with the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Eddie Wells was on that too. You yeah, know, he's a yeah. true gang. You know, yeah. what I'm saying De La Prime. That's a that's a he was on there too. Uh, uh, a real close family tree that's yeah. very very close in our family tree yeah. you know what i'm saying um yeah man i love cypher so yeah you're right y'all yeah, 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 yeah. do y'all read that do they yeah, research yeah. over here man <laughs> what do you have uh coming up for us at the hip-hop festival 
man, I have some new joints. I, I, I did crack the code on how to get some Charlie Mumbles beats. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta so, pull up, yo. That's all you gotta do. I mean, he he said, he say, he say pull up, but like, he don't live close to nobody in the game. At all. He don't live close to nobody. He's not even gonna be so home. Like, oh yeah, just pull up, man. Like, and he's back and forth to New York a lot. Yeah. You know, so, so he's doing yeah. a lot of stuff, but I got some, I got some new production by Charlie. I've been working on a group project with Dayla. Maybe me and Dayla will do some joints. Um, on the stage. On the stage, yeah. Okay, yeah. No. So you know, um, I got a lot of I got a lot of little things in the work too. But I'm like, yeah, man, we got a lot of irons on the fire. It's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. just trying to see what we're gonna do. Just like, like him, I got stuff ready. It's just when you wanna, how you wanna release, and how you know the the whole method of how you wanna do it is where you need to put the thought into. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People put so much creativity into the songs. But they don't put no creativity in how they drop it. They just be like, yeah. <clears throat> and then that's just kinda, wait. Yeah, yeah. See, see what happens. And that's, you know that's what I'm definitely saying? something I had a problem with first starting off too. Man, for Larry didn't like it. It's like you can't, you can't record a song and get it mixed and not master it. If you're gonna yes. Drop it, you got to get it mastered. You know, you got to have a promotion plan. You gotta yeah, I was about to this. say that's probably where he comes in because you can't just drop it. Like you gotta, you know, tease it. You, you know, know, get some hype going. Hard work. It. That was just something I just wasn't really into when I first started. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Larry got me. Got me to think about that a lot. I, th I think it's an art. I think it's an artist thing. You know what I mean? Because you know, as an artist, I feel like we be like. But you're focused on. I want, I want, I want my, I want my followers to know I got some new stuff. <laughs> I want everybody to know, like, like you stop. He's like, but don't you? And, you know, I was just talking to uh, Larry and uh, some of the other people I got in my corner, and they're like, man, but don't you want to make it count? Don't you want to like monetize yeah. it? Mm -hmm. yeah. What? Don't you want it to make it lead to some money? I'm like, well, 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 <laughs> well that would yeah, be cool. that'd be cool too, but. These streets, these streets to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got these, you know what I'm saying? Why, so that's it's why like me a, and him were like, uh, um, we can't, you know, we can't find any recent new music. But I'm like, they're probably, they're probably cooking something. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. All you also, gotta do is ask, and we, we send you some yeah, links. Yeah, we we'll send you whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, also, we you send know, you some links. There's still a lot of, you know, we still got. I also believe in like rocking, like like pushing material for a long time. Like you know what I'm saying? I, I remember uh, me, Larry, Salty. Uh, Mumbles, we all went to Atlanta. Did you go to Atlanta once? You didn't go to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I, go. I know because he would have been active. Like, I, I, <laughs> I don't remember if he would have went. You feel me? But uh, but we all went to Atlanta and we we're talking to uh, uh, Futures manager. You know they had the Q and A oh, wow. and the panels okay. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So they you could ask questions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about like and and when we went, it was like last year around this time. And uh. The comma song was was crack. I'm trying not to cuss oh, on the show yeah. no more. You, you so the comma the comma song was was cracking at the time, you know. And he was like, "Man, the comma song is five years old, four years old." Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I was like, "Dang!" He's like, "We've been, you know, we." You know, so at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of people who, people people drop a song and think you know their block heard it and they think yeah. it's okay. I'm done. I'm like, man, but there's there's your block, your city, your state, your region. Your, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, I feel like. You know, it's not it's not wrong to still push never get sold. You know, a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? It's still it's it's, it's still good for me to push. You know, uh, getting it and stuff like that. You feel me? Like we should. Because that might that, be the first know? song I hear, and right. then takes me to your recent stuff, and I'm like, oh, he has recent stuff. You know? Exactly. Yeah, so it's new to you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like that's kind of. I heard Fifty Cent once say something like that. Like he had, he got to, like sits on songs, and then he'll drop it like five years later or something like that, and like. Maybe tweak a couple words if, just to make it up to date. Mm -hmm. But like, he'll sit on some songs and come out, and it's a slap, and it's like, damn, he's been sitting on it for that long. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's only it's only old to the people who hear it. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm sure me, the click, I'm sure you be, oh, I want to do some new stuff or yeah. da, da, da. But I still know that these songs is bangers, and that everybody they, ain't heard it. It's just old slaps. to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's just, it's so old to you. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's hard though. But I, I'm trying to balance that artist. In the business, you know, because as an artist, I'm just, I, I'd make a new album every week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every so, week? Yeah. yeah. So, you know. So, uh, November 4th, no, November 11th. 11. Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> November 11th, what can we expect? Because you guys have your own stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The True Minotti, uh, you guys are going to be at the Hip Hop Festival at your own stage. Yeah. What can uh, people that are just wandering through the festival, what can they expect from your stage? They can expect to see good artists now this year because i mean last year i'm not saying every artist every artist at the hip-hop festival was good in their own way you know what i'm saying but this year larry has a chance to choose who's going to be on true night stage oh, you know okay. what i'm saying so and larry has an eye for music if he says your music's not good then 
You're probably not, like six, days. seven times out of ten, your music's not good. If <laughs> you know, he's not always right, but mm -hmm. sometimes he's right. You know what I'm saying? He's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> accurate with everything. And this year, he gets to choose the artist. And over uh, this past year, he's been like getting to know a lot of people. You know, like E. Scott and Benji Fly, people like that. Yeah, we had and, Benji on the show. Come yeah, and <laughs> Benji's definitely the homie. He's in the circle too. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And everybody's gonna be on that one stage now. We're gonna have our our table next to the stage, like we always do with all the merch and stuff. Have a poster, it's true, gonna be everywhere. But they should expect to see good artists, the artist that's been working the hardest on the true stage. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that's a lie. He, he calls me, he calls me, he's like, we're gonna beat the, the hardest working artist. <laughs> <laughs> at, at least, my, at least, at least in my opinion, at least in my opinion, it's, the, it's been a hard working artist that's well, gonna be on the true stage. Just, just to touch up on what, what Lamar's talking about, like, we, there's all kind of factions in the city, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we have, like, a good, like, like, if you want to look at it in a way like, 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 church or something, we have a really solid congregation over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's churches over there that people go to, and there's yeah. churches over there that, but this is going to be a good opportunity for everybody who we rock with. And it's so crazy because I got homies, uh, I got homies like uh, my dude Mystic, and uh, some of these other homies who 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 rock with like the Black Family and people like that, who ain't even heard of what we got going on over here. Mm -hmm. But I could go over here and ask them, have y'all heard of Trap or da da da? And they don't know who Trap is and all. This. The city is um, so wide and yeah. it's so big. Mm -hmm. So and Trap is popping mm -hmm. yes. over here. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we are popping over here. And it's, it's, it's going to be great to have everybody from our community concentrated on one stage because we really got like like supporters and people who are passionate about supporting it's our community. It's, it's all about a community, man. You can't eat without a community, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, man, like if you, uh, so our community, let me not get too deep. Our community is deep, our community is pretty thick. And so I just know that we're going to get a lot. Uh, a lot of stuff cracking just because we're all familiar with each other and there's no competition between True Gang, you know, uh, De La Prima and the Full yeah. Speed family, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Style and Soul and yeah, Benji and yeah, them, yeah. Uh, Vibe Lane yeah. and, and uh, 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 Damon, Simply Damon and them. Yeah. These are all, the, when those people win and we see those people win, I feel like I'm a part of that wave. Like, like I'm, I'm a part. Winning, we're like I feel, I feel involved in that. I feel like I've contributed to that. Like yeah, it's yeah. almost like when your team wins, you know. We did win today, by the way. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, Ra the Raiders took their dub. We gonna call, we gonna call it what it is. Oh my God. But, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like it's, it's about you feel when you feel a part of that. You you happy about it? Mm -hmm. So all of us have love, and it's not no animosity or nothing like like when Lamar when Lamar's winning, I feel like the team's winning. I feel like because yeah. I'm I feel like we all got the idea of like we want a ring. Yeah, yeah. We want a ring. Yeah. No matter how we get it. This guy could be LeBron James. That guy could be LeBron James. That like as long as we get that ring. Yeah. And I feel like we all got that same kind of attitude, and we all work independently and real hard. So it's like. I feel like that's what he means when we were talking about the hardest work because we yeah, all AZ out way to act. We all that's what I yeah, 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 the yeah, AZ yeah. way to act. All of that, all of that is all in, uh, under this one umbrella, and we all we actually really genuinely know each other's songs and we know everybody. Like we really be at each other's concerts. Yeah, yeah we support shows, each other and stuff. So. Jumping just as much as the people in the back, you know. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Seen yeah, we've seen that. Show. We've seen that. I'm like, yo, everyone's so hype here. So it's, <laughs> so it's cool and it's fun. We like to have a good time. I feel like that's something too, like. We make sure to have fun, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Sometimes we go to these these events, and sometimes these rappers are like so stiff, and I'm like, dang man, what's wrong? Yeah. You know what I mean? We actually turn up. We have we, we we have a good time. We don't take ourselves too seriously to have fun at the at the functions yeah. and shit. Yeah. I ain't stuff. <laughs> 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 All right, so where can we find you on social media? Everywhere: Facebook, Lamar Crushing, um, Twitter, Lamar Crushing, <laughs> Instagram, Lamar Crushing, SoundCloud, <laughs> Lamar Crushing, Lamar Crushing, everything's Lamar okay. Crushing, of All course. Right. Gotta keep it simple because Larry makes it up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, and where can we find you at? I'm at a uh, on Instagram. I'm at i d e e six o two. And then uh, on Facebook, it's like, like thinking i dash e z y six o two. He's like, I have people that do that. Yeah, yeah. Also, also, I got a standalone site too. So like, i dash d e e music dot com. 
and it has like a link to all my stuff, so you guys can. I just think go there, you I know? think you got one too, the Lamar Carson mm -hmm. Yeah, I seen that. We all have one. Okay. But we also got the Truminati Music brand page that it got. It has everybody's music. Okay. Dope. Okay. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys there, yes. November 11th. Hip -hop November Festival. 11th. We shall be there. Yes, sir. Az right. will be way too active on that day. Okay. All right, dope. Well, I'm connected <laughs> for sure. All right, what's up? It's Dixon. It's Viv, and we're here with Salty and Mumbles. What's good? What's good? This is going to be an exciting episode because oh, yeah. you're characters. You're both characters, so <laughs> I'm excited for this. So, um, Salty, you're born and raised here, correct? Uh, incorrect. I was born in Gary, Indiana. Oh, um, okay. I'm from there, yeah. Uh, moved out here when I was about 10. Mm -hmm. um, went to high school and everything out here. been about out here about 12 years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, good to go to. Uh, Chaparral High School okay, up on okay. the north side. Yeah, nice. yeah. Played football over there and did all that basketball and everything. Linked up with Mumbles too. Yeah. Was that. Bogus, so he started rapping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I sat on the bench a lot, man. So I was like, you know, like, maybe music is my passion. You know? <laughs> and here we are, baby. You know, it worked out. I'm athletic on the mic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, when did you come to Arizona? Said, you? I've been here, you know. Okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? I've been here forever, so I've just been back and forth every now and then. So recently you've been going to New York. Yeah, I've been staying in the city. Shout out to my man Esty, he from here, but he got me out in the city doing this and that. And I've been to California for a little bit, but New York's a spot I like that the best. So when do you go back? Tuesday. Oh, so I'm like back to the, <laughs> I go back, back home. Uh, man, I just got the spot back and forth. Uh, right now it's been like every like once a month or whatever, but I'm I'm living out there now, so I just got the spot. So I'm locked in. Damn. Rent the winter. Yeah, man. Yeah, they be doing it for real. I don't know how. <laughs> All right. So, when did you guys join Truminati? Yo, so I joined. Um, we did the True Summer tour in mm -hmm. 2015, and Larry kind of put me on. Okay, so before that, I was playing shows with Eddie Wells, and I was like his hype man, and I would have a feature on like one of his songs and stuff like that, and that's kind of how I got my name out there and everything. And um, we did the True Summer tour 2015 and Larry put me on it and I was out there you know he was just kind of like testing me out I think and everything and I was playing some of the first songs that I've ever written and recorded and everything and we got back from the true summer tour and Larry put out these Truminati business cards my name was on it and oh. it's just kind of just kind of happened like that and I was like hey right cool here. I was Thank like you. yeah it's gonna make my life a lot easier you know Larry <laughs> takes great care of us you know puts us on for shows and make sure we always on point and everything and on time and nice. it's definitely a huge support system to have and then Mumbles came in a little bit later on. Yeah. yeah. When did you join? That was like probably, probably a year later. Yeah. Because I, I was actually in New York. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 2016. Yeah. Uh, I was in New York and then like Larry hit me up and he's like, yeah, like, we've all put Mumbles on the roster. Like we're going to announce it tomorrow and everything. And it was kind of funny because yeah, it was a year ago, summer 16, I was in New York and Chuck was here. Mm -hmm. And then now Chuck is in New York and I'm here. <laughs> right, you know, it's like that. But no, nah, they just was hitting me up and we was going back and forth. All my friends was in, you know, the group already, so it just worked out smooth. I had just came back. It was it was an easy play. Nothing to do just like popping up with a business card. It was smooth. Nice. That's right. We built a powerhouse mm -hmm. over here. It was cool. Nice. We could tell. Yeah, we yeah. <laughs> definitely tried. Yeah. Man. How long have you been writing? I've been writing since I was uh, about 14, probably. Yeah, oh, wow. I started recording when I met him when I was 16 or 17. And then taking it seriously, probably only about two years now since when Larry put me on. Like after the tours, what really got me inspired and started taking it seriously and actually paying for my recording time, paying oh, for wow. my mixing, my mastering, my beats, and <laughs> yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, taking it as a business and actually investing in myself and everything. But yeah, as far as writing, I've been writing for about 10 years now. Oh, wow. And then how long have you been making beats? About eight. Like that. So you, you just make beats, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't be rapping enough. Okay. Nah, he raps. He raps. Charlie Mumbles is one of the nicest freestylers <laughs> anybody <laughs> knows of. I swear. It's like an anomaly. It's like an anomaly. I swear. He denies it, though. He denies it. I seen little scribbles. He's got notepaper in your house. I seen them. Y'all crumpled up on the floor and the shit hot. I be reading them. I be stealing lines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should get royalties, man, but that's your bad. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> like, uh, does Mumbles rap? And I'm like, nah, yeah. that I no. no. If you make beats, you rap. <laughs> he's just saying when he's making beats, nah. he's freestyling on his own shit, you know? <laughs> I be talking about all sorts of nasty stuff, you know? I'll be listening to you, man. I'll be hearing you. Look. 
my, me and Larry might have the secret Waffle House tape coming out. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what the Waffle House And you do a lot of sampling in your beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely like cut a lot. But I've been trying to work on, like, doing some more stuff. Kind of like a lot of wavy little space shuttle type of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I like the sample beats, though. You know what I'm yeah, no, I'm still going hard on them. Yeah, yeah them are hard. How do you tell people? How hard is it to tell people, like, I make beats? And have them take you seriously, cause I mean, it's hard. so many people That's say I make beats, and I'm like, cool, Freddie Loops. Like, yeah. I, I don't no, want to, I don't want to listen to that. Like, but like, yours are so different. Like, they're so, Appreciate like, that. the samples are so dope. Like, they're just, I don't know. Appreciate. We're gonna put a little SoundCloud link so people can find <laughs> this. But like, how, how hard is it for people to take you serious? They gotta, they gotta like watch me make a beat first, and then they're like, oh, okay, all right, you, you ain't done, you ain't a rookie, you ain't you know, yeah. messing around. You see so yeah, so yeah. once they watch me make a beat or if they like hear a whole bunch of them or something to see where my style is at, then they might rock with me. But if you're just telling somebody, it, you know, you're just wasting your time, you're wasting your breath. Mm -hmm. so you're you just gotta, like, you oh. gotta show them something. Yeah, I, I mean, I try not to say nothing unless they ask you or whatever. Yeah, so. you gotta prove it. Otherwise you look silly. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I make beats, me too. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the two more hands go, me too, me too. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Just another dude in the crowd who makes beats. Right, yeah, I just know? got these pencils and shit at the grill, but like, I'm killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you um, gonna be making like a live beat on uh, for the festival, for the Arizona Hip Hop Festival? Uh, you know, I'm trying to get back for the festival, but I'm not sure if I'm going to Oh, yeah, videos. because, you know, you're out there, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm I get caught up, but I'm trying to make it back. So we're gonna, we gonna start a GoFundMe and bring Chuck to home. Bring him back. Yeah, I'm gonna donate all of my Xbox games. Uh, <laughs> nah, 1764, you know, I'm gonna put that towards the plane ticket. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. fly him out. But if I get back, I, I would definitely do some. I got a little set together, you know what I'm saying? I had lined up. So, you know what I'm saying? We'll see what happens. Try to make it's like it. a $600 ticket, so. Start the page. Yeah, well, I am. I'm <laughs> working on it. You know? It's not just Xbox games, PlayStation games, and old oh, DVDs and VHSs, too. Yes, one thing hitting like all that used type to. of yeah, 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 I don't know, though. Yeah. Um, was Ugly Duckling your first like major project? Joint project? Because you guys did that together, right? Um, yeah. Our yeah, first one? I guess it was. Yeah. Like the first one. Uh, we dropped a song called Lost Cause, uh, Summer 16. That was the very first song I ever put out. I guess you would say professionally, and that was uh, Charlie Mumbles beat as well. But Ugly Duckling, I would say, is the first official song because that one was okay. properly mastered and mixed, and we had a video for it. And oh, so that one had a video. Yeah, it was kind of a it was kind of an amateur video, but shout out to my man John. I mean, he took care of me, man. He he totally went out of his way to take care of us and yeah, put that's, it together that's the for bro, us. For real from right there. Yeah, um, it was dope. You could tell it yeah, was easy and it had a little yeah. little vintage look to it. Was something kind of simple. It was a, smaller track but mm -hmm. yeah i was happy with how it came out and we've just been progressing since then another video of yours that i like was uh gems gems yeah that video yeah. was dope yeah like, man <laughs> yeah we went out to dope. vegas so as that team. was filmed in vegas it was it? yeah that so we went out for uh, eddie wells and id had a show out there at the uh, chronic con which is a weed convention that we're doing okay. and um yeah i was like i was talking to tune i was like you got to come with it. we got to take this opportunity if it's a team trip we're going out to vegas like you got to come out with the camera. We got to shoot something. Like I was going through my songs and Jim just seemed perfect. Man. We just had like that fear and loathing type of vibe and sm smooth, slow song and trippy visuals. And that's your track. Is that yeah, your yeah that, that's oh, also, yeah, Charlie Momo's mm -hmm. been providing for me since I was a youth. Yeah, you know, yeah, since yeah. I was just a young man. They were saying it's hard to get Charlie Mumbles beat. It, it said, might be. That's right. He's <laughs> what, what is Salty doing? I just him. pull up to the house. Yeah, he know where my mama stayed. That's the only reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You can't hide from me, man. You can put the house on the market. I know where you're going to be out there. I know where all your girls live at. I know where your mom's live at. Yeah, yeah. Well, but no, we we really started together. Like when I started making beats, this is the first dude that you know was rapping on my stuff. We had a bunch of stuff that we ain't gonna tell you about. Oh yeah. Music we ain't gonna tell you about. It's hidden on the soundcloud. Yeah, it's still up. Maybe, but, nah, yeah. Nothing, <laughs> but, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We go super. He was rapping in a cardboard box at my parents' house. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When we first started, so it goes too far back. I gotta slide on the beat. Yeah, 16 years old would be it'd be like a two by four little right. wooden box in Charlie Mumble's bedroom at his For mom's real, house. At, at the corner of the desk. And there, yeah, I'm yeah, just in the corner of the room on a stool, <laughs> rapping. And you know, we were just like, this is our first time ever doing this. So you know, we'd rap and Mumble's be like, that's hot. 
That's how we just gonna bounce it. Like, yeah, whatever. It, 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 I don't know, yeah, I'd be messing up lyrics, like I'd be, you know, coughing on the track and be like, ah, whatever. <laughs> we gonna put it out tomorrow. <laughs> we gonna put that out tomorrow. <laughs> See, these are the very amateur days, but I mean, that kind of that kind of stuff built us and gave us yeah. the respect that we have for our own craft. Now I feel like, yeah. You know, and and plus listening to that stuff is kind of nostalgic. I mean, I would never show any of y'all that. Yeah. I was about no. to say, but it's nostalgic when I listen to it by myself and stuff. Right. It's like, man, we're about to pull up. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. I don't know. Maybe one day, man. Um, you when did you get you got a uh, under society? You got the freshman class for 2017. How was that? Great, great. I was honored to be among all of those guys because I feel like they've done a lot more than I have so far. But I mean, just the fact that they respected me as well enough to have me on that list and oh, wow. be out there for the photo shoot and everything, I was very blessed. But you're working just as hard. Like I was yeah, with Dixon, yeah. like, yo, he's got shows like all yeah. the time. You got like two shows in one night once. That's I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah, yeah lately. Lately, we've been, yeah, we've been kind of hot lately. I don't know what it is. We're just working hard, and I don't have a lot of material out, but I, I, th I feel like that kind of helps me at the end of the day. I mean, people are kind of, like, wanting it more now than me just putting stuff out and kinda like a oversaturating beat. myself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, and this man is my blueprint, for real. Like, I study everything Mumbles does, and he gives me a lot of advice on what I should do. Him and Larry, like, and I always ask these guys before I put out anything or like what my thoughts are and shit because they got their mind right and I'm trying to get my mind on that kind of level business wise and everything, you know. Oh, nice. And this is the original Scorpio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Scorpio <laughs> gang gang yeah, out here, bro. That at the, uh, yeah. We're like, that's yeah. why you guys get all along because you guys are all yeah. Scorpios. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, so whose birthday's first? Uh, yeah, my birthday on Wednesday, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. 25, baby. Dang. That's right. They said I'd never make it, but here I am. <laughs> here I am, man. When's yours? Mine is in November 21st. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got some time. And then yeah. yours is like in Mine's the 5th. The 5th okay. of November? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to throw a collective birthday party. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or something, man. <laughs> yeah. You just had a birthday, right? Yeah, mine was like two weeks ago. Okay. I'm not in the Leave crew. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm a Libra. Did you go out? You got to the club or something? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah, she's like, I bet. I bet I did, yeah. All right, Viv, I see you, girl. Yeah. Um, uh, what can we expect from your performance at the Hip Hop Festival? Man, a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of love. Somebody's mama's getting called out. You know, the prettiest mom in the crowd, I'm, I'm hollering at her. I don't care, so leave your mama home, man. If you don't, or don't bring her to the Truminati station, she's going to get got. She's going to get got. If it's not by me, it's by Lamar, and you don't want it to be Lamar. Don't bring your girlfriend to the Truminati station. <laughs> Girlfriends are okay. Mothers. <laughs> Mothers are in trouble. Girlfriends ain't safe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girlfriends ain't safe. I can't speak for the rest of the crew. You, you say that when you perform. You're, you're, what, do you, uh, what do you say when you're, when you're performing? Your mammy's favorite. Something like that. What's your what's your uh what's your tag? We're talking about yeah, that. We're trying yeah, to figure yeah, that yeah. out. Tag is like uh <laughs> give it to him one time. Man, yeah. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's I gotta like play Mumbles for y'all. Yeah, it's just like saying like Charlie Mom, and them. Charlie hanging out with us. Charlie's with us. Charlie's hanging out with us. Charlie and them. Yeah, Charlie and them. Yeah, he was asking me, and I'm like, I don't know what he's saying. Yeah, no, it's like it's part of the joke, you know. Yeah, it was Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy did the Charlie Mumbles. Um, I want to talk about uh, Mumbles. You're always on the internet, just keeping everybody woke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, tell them about your meme game, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tell you, Dixon, tell like, no, smoke. Mumbles always on the internet, just like waking everybody up, like, yeah, and, you know, but things. it's, but like, you come with facts. And yeah, when people come to. back at you, you're like, you know, what makes you think this way? You're, you know, you're coming from a place where it's not like ignorant. You're kind of like, trying why? To. You know, I mean, I, I seriously want to know, like, what the fuck is going through some of y'all here, like, on God. So, mm, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to, I might roast you at first with some memes, trying to be funny <laughs> about it so we can be like, all right, all right, let's chop it up. Let's see, you know, what, what you really talking about? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If we can't agree, whatever. But, like, you know what I'm saying? I was just talking to my folk, like, we have a lot of folks that we disagree with, but we can still be chill afterwards. Yeah. We still yeah. going to go smoke some weed or whatever. You know? Yeah. Chill, so. It's all good. I might have to follow you and catch up with that. Yeah, I'll be, be talking yeah, a little bit of trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. but he has these stupid. memes ready, so if we ever yeah. come out of it. Yeah. Uh, I'll be wondering the same yeah, shit, meme game is on point. Uh, I did want to ask you, you're like everybody's like dad out here with the beats. <laughs> <laughs> because like everybody, just, like, everybody I mean, like now, she said it. Dad. Dad. Because like, uh, sir, we, that, that's how, sir, yes. Because uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. uh, when I first told that, uh, Not he, true. Uh, Nixon told me about you first. He was like, "Yo, have you heard of Mumbles?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. I've heard of Mumbles. And I'm like, "Yeah, everybody wants his beats, you know." 
Good luck. I like the sample shit. I, I've I always wanted to say if I was a rapper, I'd jump on like a sample beat. Like, or if I was a producer, I'd sample my beats. Don't nobody do it. You're like yeah, the first yeah. person I've actually met that samples the beats, and I know a lot of people that make beats. And it sounds right. Yeah. Appreciate right. that. Sounds Appreciate dope. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there's a lot of cats working dumb hard, making super great music out here, producer wise and rapper wise too. So, right. definitely gotta give them their credit. I ain't nobody daddy. <laughs> but nah, you be out your son in them though. I'll be trying. <laughs> well, Truminati, you know, glad to have you guys here for the Truminati yeah. takeover. Um, we'll see you at Hip Hop Festival. Absolutely. I'm Hopefully. Try to pull up, man. I gotta make it happen. <laughs> you gotta make it happen. With I know, yeah. Right? I already dug myself a hole right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got about $17, man. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting there, bro. I'm trying to take there, this bro. boy to New York with me, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I might be going on. out there. So now we got a fun two tickets? No, 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 not that quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One day, one day type shit. Later, though. Yeah, one day type shit. All right, dope. Let, us, um, let the people know where they can find you. Man, you can get me at Charlie Mumbles on Instagram, on SoundCloud, all of that. You know what I'm saying? iTunes, Spotify, we doing all of that. You're on Twitter and all that? Twitter yeah, I'll be on Twitter. I talk less trash on there. So, I'm just, <laughs> so if you, you want the filtered here. mumbles, uh, yeah. diluted mumbles, go yeah. on Twitter, man. Twitter's you, you, you'll, you'll get like I'm a fourth of what you want. The real on ones on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm chilling out, though. I'm chilling out. Yo, and I'm at uh, Salty Brazi, um, Facebook, um, Instagram, SoundCloud. We're on Google Play and Apple Music and all that. You can find all the music on there and all the mm -hmm. singles that are about to drop here. Dropping uh, Sweet Tooth, another Charlie Mumbles beat. I'm dropping Sweet Tooth next month, early next month. Uh, Dylan Toon did the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, shout out to Lane, um, Aileen, and Tia. These three beautiful females who helped me out with the video and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going to drop that early November, man. It's going to be a Salty Brazi love story. Not, is the song out yet? Or? The song is not out yet. Oh, so Audio yet. will be out yeah. shortly before the video. Nice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, right, dope. we'll be hey, looking for it. We got some stuff in the vault, man. I'm hyped. Yeah. We'll have to put this stuff out here. All right, dope. So we'll yeah. see you guys at the Hip Hop Festival. Bet that. Thank you. Thank you for having us, y'all. Yeah, for sure. It. I know.